What up punks? Your guitar sage here. Today we're going to learn how to play Bucket by Kings of Leon. I'm looking at my chart here on my screen. I'm going to break this down into a couple different things, okay? I'm going to break it down into chords like you were playing this um, on an acoustic guitar and then I'll kind of show you what's happening like from an electric guitar standpoint as well, okay? So, I'm looking at my chart here on my screen. Um, so away we go, and then we'll talk about the bits and pieces here to the song, okay? So it's going to go something like this. Now, dudes, that's pretty much it, okay? Let's talk about the particulars, strumming, all that good stuff, okay? Now, this song is not as fun to do on the acoustic like some of the other songs that I teach um, because it's got that really cool guitar riff there in the beginning, okay? But it's all based off of these, these chords. So, um, the, the, the lick is going to go something like this. Ah, sorry, forgot the song. Okay, so we'll talk about that. Basically, if you take a D chord and slide it up one octave, an octave is basically if you have a D and you play up here a D, those are both Ds. This is a D. Okay, it's just another name for it, but it's a higher version or a lower version of the same note. We're taking the whole chord, the entire chord, and sliding it on up one octave, okay? Okay, and that's what they're doing. That's where he's getting that chord formation. So if you do that and take your pinky and go, um, let's see, on this, here I'm at, the 15, I'm at the 17th fret with my pinky. Take this, your D, slide it on up to the 14th fret. Okay. If it doesn't sound like that, it's wrong. Then your little embellishment note is your pinky up here on the 17th. Okay, it won't look like that if you're playing it on acoustic. I mean on electric. You don't have to contort your hand like that. Then you take that whole little bit there, slide it down. Don't lift your fingers off. Slide it on down to the ninth fret. Okay? Three, five, seven, nine. Ninth fret. And you're going to do the same motif. A motif is a musical idea. You're going to do the same thing. The pinky is at the, the 12th fret when you do the embellishment. Take the whole little bit there, slide it on down. This is down the fretboard. This is up the fretboard because we're going up in pitch. Slide it down two frets. One, two. Now we're at the three, five, seven fret. And do the same bit, except instead of going up that far, go up a whole step. So now your pinky is, will be at the ninth fret. So. Okay. So you've got the little melody in your head. Listen to it and try to mimic it. I can't go over every little bit. I get folks sometimes that will email, email me and say, hey, can you do this, can you do that? 
Guys, it's really hard. I try to pack in as much as I can, but if I'm trying to do a couple videos a day, it's impossible for me to go back and to, and to add the details. So you just really got to watch it. You got to start using your ears and digging in, okay? It's a, it's a matter of time on the instrument that's going to help you there, okay? Sorry, I wish I could do more for every song, but it's just, you can't pack it in in, the, in enough time. Okay, so that's the basic riff there, okay? Um, and I think I went over all the chords, so the verse, you could still do that. Okay, or as, a, as an acoustic player, you could be playing these. Okay, and guess what the rhythm to this, guys, is? If you've seen my videos before, you're probably tired of me saying it's one, two, and four, and, but it is, okay? One, two, and, and four, and one, two, and. Okay? We use that in like a bazillion rock, country, blues, all sorts of types of songs. Okay, So, remember it, learn it, because you're going to experience it a bunch. I'll do it slow. One, two, and, and four, and one, two, and, and four, and one, two, and, and four, and. And again, it's really important that you keep your hand moving at all times, even if you're not hitting a string. You need to keep with the beat so that your down strums will occur when your down beats happen and your up strokes will occur when your up beat happens. Really important that those two are in tandem or right, right aligned with each other. Okay? Um, the other thing during the chorus is we've got that. octave higher that they're doing that up here. Um, I can't get to it right here, but basically you'd be laying your, your fingers up at the 17, 19th fret on strings 2, 3, and 4. So, okay. Or you could do um, harmonics at the 9th fret. Harmonics, if you don't know what those are already, is when you lay your fingers over the fret wire. It can't be over this part, it has to be over the fret wire. A five, seven, and nine, you get these nice little chimes. Okay, and so. You could do that for that song, or you could play it up here at the 19th fret. They sound very, very close to each other, okay? Alright guys, that's it. If you haven't already, hit subscribe, and if you haven't already, for the love of Pete and all that's good in the world, go get that ebook because it's really going to help you. It's going to help you with these songs and the other hundreds of songs that, um, that are online here that either I've, um, that I'm teaching or other folks are teaching. So it will really help you out. Get the ebook. Um, it's 33 pages of pure joy, okay? It's really going to help you out. So, anyhow, hit subscribe too if you haven't already, kids, and keep practicing. Go do it.